As we count down to Sunday's Grammys, we're already celebrating one winner. The band at Maplewood Middle School. He's super awesome. He started off as just some random kid. I'm pretty sure nobody thought he would be anything. And now, look at him, he's at the Grammys now. He doesn't just want to keep his like talent to himself. He wants to share it with like everybody. The band at Maplewood Middle School in Sulphur, Louisiana is so popular, about half the students there are members. Only on CBS This Morning, we're revealing that the band's leader, Mickey Smith Jr., is the winner of this year's Grammy Music Educator Award. As part of our Road to the Grammy series, Manuel Bajorquez shows us why Smith put aside his own musical aspirations to te teach younger generations of musicians. Ready, go. Yeah. For a music teacher, Mickey Smith Jr. spends little time at the podium. You have to be singing it in your head, too. I'm moving around with them. Sometimes I'll sit down in the chair with them because I always want to be cognizant of what, what did it feel like to be 12? Because I believe if I am familiar with that, I can connect with them more. And that's really what it's all about, connection. Good. He remembers that age all too well and growing up just about two miles from here in Louisiana Bayou country. I grew up on figuratively and literally the other side of the tracks in a small community called Mossville. And it was a small African-American community that was formed by freed slaves and uh, honestly is no more now. But it was there that a friend got him interested in the school band. That is typically frugal grandmother Lily May spent $400 on a used saxophone and that his mother, Emmer, tried to be supportive through those first awful notes. They were so bad, in fact, my mom told me to keep on going outside the house. You got to practice? Yeah, down the driveway. Outside. And then across the street in the woods. You got good enough she let you back in the house? Eventually, they let me back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, he says, chasing that perfect sound kept him from chasing the temptations that befell other kids his age. And just listen to him now. You could have turned this into a music career as a performer doing your own thing. Why teach? Oh, it's so rewarding. Why not teach? Why not teach? I think everyone should have an opportunity to pour into someone else. If you pour your cup empty, I think it comes back twice as full. But it wasn't always the most popular class. When he started here 15 years ago, there were only 28 students in the band. Now, there are 146. That's half the school. Sixth graders Mackenzie Harmon and Caitlin Rendon play the flute. So when you enrolled in the middle school here, did you know you wanted to be part of the band? Never in my life I thought I would, but whenever I saw the tryouts, I thought maybe it would be cool, and next thing you know, I love it so much. Sounds just like hot cross buns. Yeah. He's amazing. He makes things fun. He's super kind to everyone. He gives us a chance. He showed us something that we didn't think that we'd be able to do. Go! Eighth grader Rayvon Washington plays clarinet. Though as a star on the basketball team, he initially was hoping for something cooler. The guy was like, I want to play a saxophone. But then he was like, I think you do best in clarinet. And I was like, oh, that's, that's a bummer. But then <laughs> I realized, you know, actually clarinet's actually fun. He credits Mr. Smith for changing him in many ways. In sixth grade, I was like a troublemaker, and I think I would be even worse. Even worse, going down the wrong direction? Yes, like the very wrong direction, but Ben has helped me a lot and made me focus and made me a better person. So take your pencil and mark that, because it's confusing. Don't feel bad. You've never seen this before. Rayvon was one of those students that I can say I loved him just the way he was, but I loved him enough not to leave him just the way he was. And I believe that's what teaching at its best, and that's what music can provide, an opportunity for growth, an opportunity for trust. In honoring him with the Grammy Music Educator Award, the Recording Academy noted his ability to make students feel loved, valued, and wanted, of ultimately helping them find their sound. I hope it means a change in their perspective and understanding that there's nothing I can't do. That little kid from a little town that doesn't even exist anymore, on the other side of the tracks did it, I can do it too. For CBS This Morning, Manuel Bajorquez, Sulphur, Louisiana.
Mickey Smith Jr. is oh, one wise man, bravo. and the testimony of all those kids tells you everything Mickey you want to know. Jr. Yeah. Listen, yeah. everybody should have the opportunity to pour into someone else. Yes. There's so many little nuggets. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah. You don't make a lot of money as a music teacher, but you do oh. get a certain kind of rich. Yep. Very rich. I'll say.